let me show you how we can show page numbers in Affinity Publisher. I am assuming that we want to show page numbers across the whole publication. So the easiest way to apply this to all of the pages is to simply open the master pages on the left and double click on your master page. Master page is like a template for the whole document. From here we're going to draw a new frame for the text. All right, so we got this empty frame for the text. Now we simply hit text at the top menu, search for insert, select fields, and you will see page number at the very top. Click on that, and you will see this hashtag. This hashtag will be replaced by the number of the page in the document itself. Of course, we can modify the size of it. We can change the font the color if you like and then place it in your document whatever you like keep in mind if you want to have a page number on the right page you will need to copy and paste this so we can come and see come and v or control c control v on windows you can copy and paste and place the copy of the page number on the right side all right, with this setup, now we can go out of master page. So we don't need to be in the master page anymore. Let's go back to pages. Let's double click on page one to jump back to our actual document. Take a look, I got number one here. Number two and three, four and five. So it's working. Let's jump back to master pages for a moment. I want to make some changes to it so you can see that it's all applying in the lifetime. So I'm making this now a red and even larger and I will type something here. So I will type page just before that hashtag. Okay, and now let's go back to the document by clicking on the page number. This is a right page, so we cannot see my changes yet, but here on the page number two, I can see page two, then page four, page six. So as you can see, you can even change the style of it a bit, change the font, the color, even type something in it together with this hashtag indicating the number of the page, and it will be there. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next Affinity Publisher tutorial.